Before I get into um, my remarks in their brief, I'm going to be a little informal. Tim. Tim and I went to the same high school. We had the same support of a loving community. We were able to dream dreams and do things because of a community that supported us, people who didn't know us. There are children here today in Minnesota, in the United States, in Iraq, who will be able to dream dreams and accomplish much because of all you did. Thank you. <laughs> Governor Plenty, General Major Shalado, General N Nash, and all the Red Bills, 34th Infantry Division. Your safe return to your families and loved ones in February has been much celebrated. And it's an honor to be with you here and your families today to officially welcome you home from Iraq. As citizens and soldiers, you have demonstrated the exceptional commitment to your community, our state, and to our country. You have done everything that our government has asked of you. And we are all so proud of you. Thank you so much. You have the deepest gratitude of our entire community for your willingness to take on risk. As you continue your transition back to civilian life, new challenges and new opportunities lie ahead. You stood up for this duty, for your state and for your community and your families. And it is with honor and pride and humility that I serve you in Congress. My offices, all the other congressional offices, are here to assist you and your families and do not hesitate to call and ask. Your commitment to our nation is being matched by the commitment of Congress and by the President and by our governor to fully honor your service and sacrifice. We will do this by providing the necessary benefits to meet the needs of you and your families. It is both an honor, it is a responsibility, and I believe it is a moral obligation to do so. Your contributions and your service were incredibly important and will continue to be in the future. Your mission was not without risk, and we all remember and honor those brothers who did not make it home. And our thoughts and prayers are with the family of Marine Lance Corporal Curtis M. Swenson of Rochester, who was killed in Afghanistan. And so I extend greetings from Congressman Tim Walls, who was at the funeral of one of his constituents. He wanted to be with you here today, but he wanted to be with the family, the soldier who has fallen. So I extend not only my sincere welcome, but also a welcome from Congressman Walls. Once again, thank you for your service. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for making the difference in the life of a child here at home and around the world. Thank you. <laughs>